Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well now is uh, we will try to feed the specialty feeders, also known as pain in the asses. <clears throat> we'll see if this smooth death adder uh, would be interested in having a gecko. Now unlike the other death adder which would be caught alluring, this one is getting all defensive because I happen to be poking it with a gecko. The other one would be happily eating and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. Okay. There we go. Oh! Happy death adder! This one has been a problem feeder all of its life. Uh, the other one that you'll see here in a moment, uh, you know, it took its feeding took off really fast. So we'll uh, gently close this. Oh, I hate when they do this. And leave it to its task of eating. Now, these are siblings, okay? You can see the difference between one that eats and one that doesn't eat. Uh, one that's flattened itself out. Yeah, My well, goodness. you know, because of the mite problem, she's not happy because she's not in her uh, substrate, substrate and yep. has been disturbed. But let's see if we can entice her to call the lure. No, she's not going to put on a show for us because she's too pissed off. She will eat, though, mm -hmm. but she just won't put on a show. Now, that's how death adders are supposed to behave. But since we had a bad mite infestation, uh, they're on paper that was treated with preventamite. Now we'll see if this pointy-nosed beast will eat, or it's also pissed off. Come on. Come on. Come on. You think I'm over here just to annoy the crap out of you? I want you to eat the mouse. Oh, it's just pissed off all to hell. All right, all right, it's snapped. So we're going to see if it will eat it after a while. It'll say, oh, look at this. <laughs> I must have bitten it when I wasn't paying attention. It's still rattling its tail from time to time. <laughs> yeah, it's just an impossible. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's see, what do I got here first before... I'm not going to feed that that guy right now. This guy was like beside himself. He was really hungry. That's a Pakistani saw scale Echis Soshirukii. This one I'm not going to bother with. He, he got fed. Now, I'm going to try some of these other speckled rattlesnakes with geckos. All right, you know, rattle your tail, get pissed off. Here. It's just a gecko. These are definitely amongst the most difficult, stubborn snakes that I've had to try to get feeding. 
As you can see, that was a fail. Would you like a gecko? Huh? Oh, you would like a gecko, maybe. Mm, bit its butt. Ew, I don't want it now. All right, cool. Just leave it alone. You look like you're interested in something. Would you like a gecko, huh? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll take that. That looks like a feeding bite and not a defensive bite. What about you? That one just doesn't eat at all. About with an appropriately smaller one. I can tell I'm going to be force feeding this guy again. <laughs> no, no, let me starve to death. You know, I I want to move these along to new owners and stuff, but because I don't want the animals to die, I want to get them started in, in you know, eating well before I pass them off to somebody else. You know, it's just not happening. <laughs> All right, so this guy loves geckos. So we'll give him a gecko. No problem there. Okay, so. You have someone up here looking very hopeful. Um, yeah, he's he's a stubborn feeder too, and he, he won't take any of these. But mm. if you would step behind me, we are going to visit with Oh, oh uh, our friend the Taipan. I need a hook. Grab one of the smaller hooks. Here. Because I know as a fact she's hungry because I see her lurking. Ah, oh, oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna let go of that, huh? I see you filled your water dish again. Well you're looking pretty. Yeah, I'm not coming any closer. If you want more video, you do it yourself. Oh, we're getting upset? It's just the camera. It's not like it's not something you have seen before. Mr. Brown is saying hello. Who just shed? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go over next door. And the rest of these guys will get fed off. Now the, the female Leucogaster saw scale, the yellow bellies, they eat uh, pretty well on most anything that I offer them. However, this little male here in the front really likes geckos and does it. He'll, he'll eat mice, even live mice, and be reluctant. No, you don't want that? It's got mouse scent on it. I've been trying to scent these with mice. No, you don't want that, huh? It moves just right. Yeah. 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 There you go. 
Can I have my forcep back? There you go, bud. Oh, males are such a pain in the ass to get to eat sometimes. They're just all sorts of problems. <laughs> You know, you saw him do his little head shake. No, no, this sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, well, all right, if you force me to. Yeah, but then you have somebody like Dad down there who's like, you got any food for me? Yeah, yeah, I got those guys on a diet. Uh, okay, so. Um, let's see the... That gives pyramidum. Like gecko, so we've got somebody going into the shed and, and somebody looking interested. Would you like that? Careful, don't bite your cage mate. Ah, oh, that's very nice. Now, where is the third one? Would you like it, huh? Even though you're in shed? You would? Okay, good for you. These guys will eat, uh, you know, live mice also, but uh, sometimes the pet store doesn't have enough mice and I have to supplement. Um, now, the third one is somewhere. Oh, I see a little face. Would you like this? Huh? I know. I don't want to disturb the other ones. No? No? Alright, those guys got enough. guys will never eat the uh, geckos. <laughs> There's ever hungry right there. Yes. Would you like to try a gecko? Huh? Oh yes. That's Mr. Uh, Popia Fucata, Siamese Peninsular's Pit Viper. And yes, he likes that. Uh, but, you know, also we have to take into account that it was in with the incentive with, with, you know, hopper mice, fuzzy mice. But I'm sure that, you know, in their normal diet they eat geckos. And here at the lair I really, really try hard to offer a variety of foods so they get different nutrients and stuff and it's not just the diet of, you know, rats or mice or whatever. So, uh, this is all good. And since his mouth is occupied, I can close the door with my fingers. You know, I never tried, but I can offer him this to see if he wants to try his hat at it. You want to try one of these, dude? Huh? He's such a friendly, amicable guy, unless you wake him up. This is a scented gecko, dude. You like quail chicks, you'll eat mice. Oh, and we'll also try a gecko tonight, huh? There we go. Is that nice, huh? I'm sure these guys also feed on, you know, geckos and skinks, because in the wild, if you're very particular on what you eat, your chances of survival is greatly reduced. Hi, is that okay, dude? Huh? Well, it, it's not like a normal mouse or a chick. It's a little, little different to eat. But there you go. See, and we don't have to waste a gecko. And we have a very happy camper. Yep, he'll want more now, so we have to leave quick, because then <laughs> he'll be disappointed. There you go, dude. You got some water. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, yes, he's, he's a very funny dude. Hi, dude. And if you go stand in the doorway, I'll just uh, get uh, some additional shedding out. Uh, you might want to stand over there and shoot because although he's generally a 
very easy guy. Now he can be quite excitable. Yes, I know. And I don't want him coming over to visit. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? No, there's, there's, see, there's no scent on that, so he's not really terribly interested. Maybe someday you'll give me a complete shedding. Although those are some pretty nice belly plates. We're yeah. just going to come out and visit. Yeah, he does that. He does that. Oh, and you're all huffing and puffy. Is that the female? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. The male is only interested in sex and food. The rest of us just don't even matter. Hey, bud. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Fooey. You can go that way. Just dump your water dish out to get that little bit of shedding out. But, you know, he is a forest culver, so I don't often work with him. But, you know, unless there's food present, he is, as far as forest culvers go, he's pretty okay. No food, he doesn't want me. You just want to go scurry about. Yes, he wants to go out. Alright, what are you going to do with your sticker? You're getting a, that's a big package you got there, dude. <laughs> You're a big guy. There's that lethal s sticker and look, okay, it's got a mind of its own. See, I'm not, I'm not hurting him, I'm not bothering him, but he still has to stick it to me. But better this end sticks me than the other end. Ouch! Hey, he's a big guy. Look at that. Okay. Climbing the hook. Go that way. Go on. There you go. Your, uh, your trap box really needs to be cleaned. So yeah, we gotta I gotta clean his trap box. And you know. Yeah, he's got your house. Alright, well I'm gonna go and I got the keys downstairs to unlock these and, and clean it out and put it back um, maybe before it lights out. 